domestic demand in Kenya recovered strongly in the month of February, driven by an increase in customer numbers following a reduction in COVID-19 cases, as well as heightened marketing efforts by farms. Farms responded to this higher demand by increasing their level of output as well as increasing the quantity of purchases. That said, input prices increased at the fastest rate in the last 41 months, driven by higher oil prices as well as an increase in their tax burdens. The recovery in demand allowed farms to increase their output prices by the fastest rate in the last three months to pass on their higher input costs as well as protect their margins. Hello, my name is Kuria Kamau and I'm the economist here at Stanbic Bank Kenya. And today, I'm here to talk to you about the Stanwick Purchasing Managers Index, the Stanwick PMI as we like to call it. The Stanwick PMI is a monthly indicator of business conditions and is carried out by surveying 400 of the largest companies in Kenya and asking them about business conditions in that month vis-a-vis -vis the month before. We asked them about various aspects of their business, including the level of demand they're seeing, the level of output they're producing, their input and output costs, as well as the 12-month outlook for their businesses. And with that, we're able to obtain a reading of between 0 and 100. And how you should understand the reading is any score above 50 indicates an expansion in business conditions, while a score below 50 indicates a contraction. There are four things that are worth highlighting out of the February report. The first is, while export demand continued to rise for the 10th consecutive month, domestic demand rose at the second fastest rate in the last 16 months, driven by the factors that we've talked about earlier. That is, an increase in customer numbers, as well as heightened marketing efforts by farms. When these farms tried to increase their level of output to meet the rising demand, they fell short, which resulted in the first increase in work backlogs in the past four months. Second, farms increased their quantity of purchases at the fastest rate since October 2020. And this is despite a reduction in employment levels. The reduction in employment levels was due to lower demand witnessed in the month of January. The increase in purchases, however, suggests strong expected output in the near term which could lead to a recovery in employment levels next month. Third, input prices rose at the fastest rate since September of 2018 due to higher raw material prices. Raw material prices themselves rose on account of an increase in fuel costs as well as an increase in the tax burdens for farms. Farms took advantage of the higher demand that we saw in the month of February to pass on those higher costs onto the consumer to protect their margins as well as recoup some of the lost margin in the previous price increases. And finally, the 12-month outlook as reported by farms increased marginally from the month of January. But now it's at a five-month high as concerns around COVID-19 begin to dissipate. As we look forward to the month of March, there are two things that could affect the PMI reading. The first is, the concerns around inflation could be made worse by the Russia-Ukraine crisis. As you probably know, Russia is one of the biggest providers of energy and wheat to Europe. And any increase in the conflict there could result in a worsening in commodity prices, which could negatively affect inflation in Kenya. The second, of course, is the increase in purchases that we saw in the month of February could suggest that the level of output by farms could increase in the coming months. That's it for now. Until we meet again next month. We at Stanwick Bank will continue to support you and your business with market-leading insights. Because Kenya is our home. We drive our growth.